I truly hate to have to deliver this news, but it appears that Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert of Colorado has not been honest with us. Not with the American people, not with her constituents in Colorado. She has lied about what happened to get her ejected from a recent performance of Beetlejuice the Musical. Earlier in the week, we brought you this story, first reported by the folks over the Denver Post. On Sunday evening, the congresswoman and a male companion were escorted out of a downtown Denver theater, quote, accused by venue officials of vaping, singing, recording, and, quote, causing a disturbance during the performance. According to an usher quoted in the theater's incident report, the patrons said they would not leave. I told them I would be going to get the Denver police. They said, go get them. Now, the congresswoman seriously downplayed the situation after this news broke, posting she, quote, pleads guilty to laughing and singing too loud, hand-covering mouth emoji. Her campaign manager took it even further, confirming that he called the stunning and salacious rumors that Boebert is indeed a supporter of the performing arts gasp, who enthusiastically enjoy the performance. Well, thanks to the good folks at Nine News in Denver, we now have the security footage from inside that theater. Take a look at their investigation into what really happened. Bobert, Bobert, Bobert. Say it three times and she appears in security video from a weekend performance of Beetlejuice, where the congresswoman was kicked out of the theater for being disruptive. The DCPA says she was vaping. Bobert's team denied that, said the haze was from fog machines in the show. That claim goes up in smoke when you see the video. The pregnant woman sitting behind Bobert told the Denver Post she asked her to stop vaping, and Bobert refused. Her one woman show continued taking flash photos, raising her hands and dancing, often the only one clapping or standing up in the crowd. Bobert occasionally took a break from being disruptive to enjoy the company of her male companion. He briefly had a grasp on the situation before ushers returned and told Bobert she had to leave. The theater's instant report says Bobert pulled the don't you know who I am card on the way out, giving theater employees the single finger salute. Now, we're sparing you the details of the more R-rated behavior Bobert and her friend engaged in. Uh, you can find that on the Internet if you zoom in on some of that surveillance footage, if you're interested, at the Beetlejuice musical. I don't think it's a good look going into a re-election campaign against a Democratic challenger who, remember, Bobert barely, barely beat in 2022. It was the surprise race of the midterms. Last November, that man, Democrat Adam Frisch, came within 600 votes of unseating Lauren Bobert. And Frisch is running against her again. And so far this year, he has been out fundraising her. It's fair to say a good number of the residents of Colorado's 3rd District were already embarrassed by their elected representative well before Beetlejuice.